3, 2, grabando. So here we are in beautiful sunny Bucaramanga in, in um, Santander region. Uh, we are actually a bit out, uh, outside uh, Bucaramanga in Sh uh, Giron. Um, it's a beautiful old town so far. I've only been here for a few minutes, but um, a little bit about the expectations for today and tomorrow here in Santander region. But before that, maybe just a few thoughts about what I saw and discovered in, in Cauca uh, in the last two days. Um, first of all, I visited three very nice farms. Uh, I would say quite big farms, uh, 24 up to 44 hectares uh, in size. Um, what drove me most was the, the families, the, the proudness they have uh, for what they have achieved from having very small areas in the beginning, but slowly growing up to this size that they have now. Um, had a very nice talk with uh, Norberto about life in general, education, uh, his family thoughts about uh, it's a company, but the company is owned by him and his wife and the kids. Uh, and that is something that went straight to my heart because I can certainly relate to many of these things, being a family father, having three kids and a wonderful wife at home. Um, so that was really, really nice discussion we had. Um, related to coffee, we had a very good talk about the varieties, about the, the change of Catura to Castilla varieties, where Castilla is the new uh, crossing between the uh, Timor hybrid and the uh, Catura. And I, I learned a lot about how all the benefits from, from the new variety that you can produce a lot more coffee on the same tree. Um, due to the, the brands, where the, on the Katura you only have one brand that produce coffee, but on the Castillo variety you have a brand that create new branches and by that it gets more coffee. So with, with the same amount of trees, you basically produce a lot more coffee. Um, another thing that due to the climate changes uh, and in, in Cauca especially, from my understanding, is that the harvest season is not only limited to like two or three months, it's, it's going on all over, uh, all around the year. So Norberto told me that 50% of, of the harvest is actually going on outside the main harvest season, which was, uh, which was very fascinating to hear. And, and also to learn that it actually gives a much more kind of like stable income. You get income all over the year instead of having everything compressed in two or three months. So, um, yeah, so, so that was a good talk. We saw his nursery, how he together with Cine Cafe uh, um, controls the, the new plants that is created. And he's not only using it for, for his own purpose, he's also selling it in the region. So. Um, after that, we went to um, another uh, farm with 44 hectares, uh, run by Alma. Um, and I saw a new, for me at least, a new wet processing method called uh, Bicol Soup. Uh, it's like an economical aquapulper system where you basically, instead of uh, soaking the beans for like 8, 9, 10, 12 hours, uh, you actually have this uh, machine that with water, a lot less water and vibration remove the muscular, uh, remove the, the, the meat from the bean after it has been pulped. So for not only uh, economical uh, reasons but also for the environment reason use a lot less water. So instead of for instance using 40 liters of water you only use one liter now. So that's a huge, huge difference. So very fascinating to see these different uh, uh, farms and plantations. And that brings me to here to Santander, to my expectations from uh, to the next couple of days, where I really look forward to see smaller farms, smaller plantations, which is, I think, is the more general picture of, of, of Colombia. Um, we will also see an organic farm and how that works. Um, and I was told that we were going to see a national park called uh, Chicamoca, 
uh, which is in, we are here in the East Mountain Range, but, uh, but there's a valley, I think, uh, in, 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 in this mountain range that we will, will go and see later today. So, yes, off we go for a very exciting day.